Hello people, this is Caleb, and you're watching Nerds Life. Today I'm going to be playing Franbo. This is just a game that I found and said, hey, let's give it a try. Actually, I didn't find it. I was referred to it by my brother, so I'm going to go ahead and I looked it up a little bit, haven't played it yet, so this is going to be a, a start for me and a start for you. Dark is the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. I should start doing it. We're voicing over. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. The cat. That has a weird looking tongue. We are having so much fun. That is seriously a weird looking tongue. But it's so cute. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. <laughs> a strange creature outside my window. Girl, I would not. I don't like it, it scares me. Why aren't you reacting to that? Suddenly I hear something. You should be reacting a whole lot different. <laughs> it's mom screaming. Girl. <laughs> I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. Stop. I can't do this. <laughs> Ooh, this is making me nervous. Mm, mm mm girl, no. No, girl. Stop. Mom? Dad? Girl, why are you crying blood? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a pentagram on the floor. <laughs> Should I be playing this game? I might get cursed. Oh, she fell in the woods and now her kitty cat's laying on top of her. Ooh, her kitty cat's running. Why is her kitty cat running? It's angry. It looks sad. Oh. You know, this is a really long intro. I feel like dying. My parents are dead! Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Better? Then let me go! You should not tell me how to do my job. But now I have something for you, friend. Oh, really? See the desk there? There's a little package for you. See the desk, my bad, I messed that up. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Use. Ooh. Examine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, 
I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things, so I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. That is the, like, most cliche way to tell people how to... <laughs> <clears throat> Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. I'm worried too, because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it! You are out of control, young lady. Can I leave mine? Oh, can I go to my room now? <laughs> yes, you can leave before you do. It's time for you for your new medicine. No more medicine! <laughs> Duo teen. It would make me feel very relaxed. Anything new today, Dr. Deer? Oh, his name is Deer. Same visions before. Oops. Here, friend, take your medicine. I was moving. I don't know how long I've been playing. That was weird. Oh, more cutscenes. Good lord, how many cutscenes are in this game? Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness, I should do some scurpy. I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Insanity. As she cries a tear. Oh, it's midnight. The medicine will help you escape. I will be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Okay, let's see. Let's investigate the room. There is a cross. Okay. Cross. Creepy picture of a clown. Music box. Yes. Okay, let's see what's in the drawer. Franbo Dagenhart. Age 10. Gender female. History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy, details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and have, and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Psycho what? I'm not that for sure. Side effects, effects affecting one side of me maybe. Jesus. I will get your nose. I will get it. What? <laughs> okay. Red and tiny. You are hiding from me. I hate that monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that medicine would show me where he is. And a cross. You're a freaky looking kid. Nobody went out. Any way out?
Dolly. Fillmore Bronstone. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dean. We have not achieved the patient's trust and we refuse it to be questioned. Of course it's locked. Ooh, 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 secret box. Shh. It's a key. Use. The key is too tiny. Okay, that was a very... I did not mean to press the... Oh, I thought I did something wrong. Okay. Hopefully not too much longer. I wonder if I get a good stopping point, but I'm not sure where a good stopping point is. Yeah, screw you, I'm finna... Excuse me. Maybe Tiny Key goes here. Aha! Use. Ah, crap. Come on. Hmm. Maybe I can jimmy this door open. Okay, let's try this now. All right, so combine. How could it not be right? Like, hmm. Use golden hook with wheelchair. Don't tell me how to live my life, woman. What on earth am I doing wrong? Well, it looks like as soon as I get through this door.
That is the shortest melody I've ever seen. Oh, come on. I'm too dumb to figure this out, apparently. Oh. That didn't work. Come on, old woman. Get her to go over here and I look at her desk. Aha. That's what that letter was. Okay. smarter than this.
Oh. That's what... Got it. So it's hide eight nine four five. That's really creepy. Missing something. Watch your step. You got a little blood on your mouth. Mm hmm. Voila. this door and I'm gonna stop Peyton's bad all right okay so that has been the video for today 